Zorin OS 19, the next big step in the evolution of one of the most user-friendly Linux distributions ever created. It's not officially out yet, but the expectations leaks. And hints from the developers are already painting a picture of what could be one of the most polished desktop Linux experiences ever. Let's imagine what Zorin OS 19 might bring, why it matters, and how it could redefine Linux for everyday users. For years, Zorin OS has been known as the Linux distro that makes the switch from Windows or Mac OS feel effortless. It combines a modern design with stability and simplicity, giving users an experience that just works. The current version, Zorin was designed to set a new standard for beauty and performance, but version 19 could be the true leap forward, a version that bridges the gap between Linux freedom and mainstream ease. When you first power on Zorin OS 19, you can expect a refreshed, refined interface. The design language will likely be smoother, more responsive, and even closer to a professional-grade desktop system. The developers have always focused on elegance, so think of softer animations, improved dark and light modes, and seamless transitions between windows. Zorin's aim has always been clear. Deliver a Linux experience that feels familiar to Windows and Mac OS users, but without the clutter, ads, or restrictions those platforms often bring. Performance will be a key focus for Zorin OS 19. The new version is expected to be built on top of Ubuntu 24.04 LT, bringing with it the latest Linux kernel, improved hardware compatibility, and better efficiency across CPUs and GPUs. That means faster boot times, improved battery life, and smoother multitasking. On laptops, users can expect less heat and longer battery endurance, while desktop users should see snappier app launches and fewer lags. The goal is clear to make Zorin not just easy to use, but incredibly fast and efficient on both modern and older hardware. One of the biggest shifts with Zorin OS 19 could be the retirement of the Lite Edition. Traditionally, Lite was built with XFCE, optimized for older PCs. But according to the Zorin team, version 19 may sunset that edition entirely, focusing instead on the core, pro, and education variants. This doesn't mean old PCS are left behind. Instead, Zorin OS 19 might bring deeper optimizations in the GNOME-based editions to make them more lightweight than ever. With this movie, Zorin is aiming to unify its ecosystem, giving every user access to the same features and design consistency, regardless of hardware limitations. For users who care about visual customization, Zorin OS 19 could take personalization to the next level. Expect more built-in desktop layouts that mimic Windows 11, Mac OS, and even Chrome OS styles. The Zorin appearance app will likely gain more power, letting you tweak everything from icon sets and panel transparency to window behaviors and gestures. With touch and pen input becoming more common on modern devices, Zorin could also improve its touchscreen support, delivering smoother gesture control and better scaling across different screen sizes. Software availability will continue to be one of Zorin's biggest strengths. Zorin OS 19 will likely ship with a newer version of the Zorin Software Store, a unified hub where you can install Linux, Snap, Flatpak, and AppImage. Apps all from one place. Imagine having access to tens of thousands of applications with a single click, from productivity tools like LibreOffice and OnlyOffice to create a software like GIMP, Blender, and It's all there, ready to go, no terminal commands needed. Zorin OS has always been about privacy and simplicity. Unlike Windows, it doesn't track you, push ads, or collect usage data. Zorin OS 19 would continue this philosophy, giving users complete control over their systems. You decide what updates to install, when to install them, and what your device shares, which, in most cases, is nothing. It's a refreshing change in a world where operating systems are becoming increasingly cloud-dependent and invasive. Now, let's talk about compatibility. One of the reasons Zorin stands out from other Linux distributions is its built-in support for running Windows apps through wine and bottles. In version 19, we could see these compatibility layers getting even more integrated and seamless. That means running Ishi and MSI files might become as simple as double-clicking them. No configuration, no commands. This feature alone could attract thousands of users who want to leave Windows but can give up certain software. Zorin Connect is another feature that could evolve with version 19. It already lets users sync notifications, share files, and control their PC from their Android phone. But in the new release, we could see better integration, faster transfers, and support for IOC devices. Imagine replying to messages, sharing photos, 
or controlling your presentation directly from your phone without needing cloud accounts or third-party apps. For education and enterprise, Zorin OS 19 could be a g The education edition will likely include updated learning tools, coding environments, and classroom management apps. It's designed for schools and teachers who want a reliable, safe, and free operating system that just works. Combined with low hardware requirements, Zorin could become a serious alternative to Chromebooks in classrooms around the world. Gamers might also find something exciting in Zorin OS 19, with Linux gaming stronger than ever, thanks to Steam, Proton, and Vulkan. Zorin could integrate better gaming support right out of the box. Expect drivers for NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel GPUs to be pre-installed or as LE accessible, along with tools like Game Mode for performance optimization. Launching Steam, Lutris, or Heroic Games Launcher could be as easy as opening any normal app. Making Zorin a surprisingly capable gaming OS security, of course, will remain a major focus. Since it's based on Ubuntu LTS, Zorin OS 19 will inherit years of security patches, app isolation, and advanced permissions control. It will also benefit from a Parmer and sandboxing technologies to keep your system safe from malicious apps with the growing concerns about ransomware and sp Zorin S clean and open source environment provides peace of mind that S rare in today's computing landscape. Another possible highlight is better cloud and backup integration. Zorin OS 19 could include improved synchronization options with services like Next Google Drive, and OneDrive, allowing you to access your files across devices effortlessly. Built-in backup tools would let users restore their system or data easily in case something goes wrong, giving both newcomers and professionals extra confidence in Linux. One area users are hoping to see big improvements in is updates. Many people appreciate how Zoranoas already handles updates quietly and efficiently, but the next version could introduce smarter background updating and rollback options similar to what Fedora and Chrome OS offer. This would mean fewer interruptions, less downtime, and more reliability. As the Linux desktop world grows, Zorin OS 19 represents a chance to bring new users into open source. The developer's philosophy remains clear. Make Linux accessible to everyone, whether they're gamers, students, creators, or office professionals, by offering a refined, elegant, and privacy-focused experience. Zorin continues to show that Linux doesn't have to be complicated. It can be beautiful, simple, and powerful all at once. If Zorin OS 19 lives up to its potential, it might not just be another update. It could be the version that finally brings Linux into the mainstream for everyday users. Fast, flexible, and stunningly designed, a system that respects your privacy, your time, and your freedom. So, are you ready for Zorin? OS 19. Whether you're switching from Windows, exploring Linux for the first time, or just looking for a cleaner digital experience, this could be the perfect moment to make the change. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of Zorin OS, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments. Would you try Zorin OS 19 when it launches, or do you already use Zorin today? Let's discuss because the future of Linux might be closer than we think.